Hi everyone, Renee here. Today we're making delicious homemade turkey pot pie. We have lots of leftover turkey, so it's a great time to use it up. This is quick, it's easy, and it's absolutely delicious. Very filling, very wholesome. We've made it for a very, very long time. So you can use chicken too if you don't have turkey. That's wonderful too. Um, like I said, we have lots of turkey, so we're using turkey. Actually, we have a little over two cups here of mixed turkey, and it's white meat and dark meat, because that's what we got, so that's what's going to go in it. Here we have about a 12-ounce frozen bag of mixed veggies. You can use anything you want. I had carrots and peas, so that's what I'm going to use. You can do corn, onions, whatever you like. I've used many different varieties of things. This is what I had, so that's what I'm using. And over here, we just have a 14.5 ounce, basically, can of, or and you can get them anywhere from 13 to 14, I believe. Uh, it's just cream of chicken soup. And this is just a can of cream of celery. You can use cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. Cream of chicken, you, it works really well. So cream of chicken with whatever else you want. You can mix them together, mix and match, do what you like. Always, like I said, these recipes, whatever you like. And this is just one can, 14.5 ounce or so of chicken broth. And this is just two pie shell crusts. I got one box and there's two in it. We're going to use those. It's going to be really easy, simple. And here we just have basically a tablespoon of butter that's going to go in it. Just going to mix it all together. In here for spices, on top of my turkey, I just threw on a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder and salt and pepper to taste. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to put in it. And here we just have a nice round fairly deep. It's about three and a half inches at least. Um, I love to use this for my pot pies um, or if I'm doing a really deep pie that I'm making, a dessert pie. This is really nice because it's deep and I just, of course, I put it for drippings. I put it on a sprayed uh, cookie sheet. So we're just going to put one of the pie shells in here and get this ready. We're going to take a big bowl, put all this in a big bowl this this and these in a big bowl and we're going to mix them together put one pie shell in here and we're going to get it ready okay we got everything mixed together it looks yummy um we're just going to put it in the pie shell and then put the other pie shell on top when you take your pot getting ready to make your recipe leave your pie shells out for like a good 20 minutes or to a half hour they unfold better and they work better when they're a little bit at room temperature. So, just so you know. But this has all been mixed together. We're going to put it in the pie shell. Okay, we got it in our pie shell. And as you can see, it's right almost level. Um, that's why you need a nice deep four, four and a half inch or so uh, pan to use. Because, you know, this is going to be a nice pot pie. That's go big or go home. So... It's all in there. Like I said, it's about even. If you have a little extra, that's okay. You've got to catch your drippings. We're going to put the top on. And um, some always boils over. It just happens. Um, we've preheated our oven, so you know, to 450. Or, I'm sorry, 400. It is preheated to 400. And we're going to check it in an hour. We're going to bake it and check it in an hour. Like I said, we're going to get the top on this. Okay, we've got our top pie crust on. Um, we've pinched these in, pushed them in pretty good so they don't burn. It's nice and tight. Like I said, this is going to drip over and boil over because it's just such a nice filled pot pie. Happens every time. They turn out perfect every time too. We just cut it with a knife and vented it with a few slits. Put butter all over it. Just a soft butter. You can use egg wash. I like butter. I like the flaky crust of the what the butter does make sure you spread your soft butter all over the top of it and then put your slits into vent and then sprinkle it just lightly if you want to taste some salt and pepper on top so all these are in nice and tight we've got the butter the slits on 
and salt and peppered it a little bit. And make sure you always, always put it on a cookie sheet with a foil. We've got it on 400 preheated. We're going to let it cook an hour. We'll check it in one hour. And the tip for today is if you want a quick go-to and a very easy, simple dip, a dill dip that's quick and easy, um, one of the best you'll ever have, and it's so fast, just take your favorite ranch dressing, pour it in a tub. I always have fresh dill weed, or just get it if you want to make dill dip ahead for a party or a football game or holidays, whatever. The holidays are coming. Um, just ranch and a good, and if you're doing like at least a tub, I would say to a cup, I'd say about two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons, depending on how you like it. We like a lot. So it'd be a couple tablespoons of dill weed to a cup of ranch dressing. But however you kind of ra want to ration it out. But like I said, we like a lot of dill weed. So the dry dill weed. So you just mix them together. Makes one of the best dill dips. Okay, the turkey pot pie just got done. We checked it in an hour. It needed to go a little longer. So we baked it an hour and 20 minutes. And as you can see, it's golden brown and rustic. And absolutely delicious looking. Um, they turn out every time. You just want to make sure your middle is nice and crunchy and done, which it is. It's really full. So, yeah, they turn out. Usually I like to let them probably sit for about a half hour, 35 minutes, let them cool down a little bit. But we're all hungry, so we're I'm going to be cutting into it in just a minute and putting it in, plating it up. But like I said, let it cool down if if you can wait. <laughs> Uh, about 30 minutes at least and uh, let it set but yeah like I said you just want to make sure this top is nice and crusty all the way through and that's when it's done it depends on your oven so we're gonna plate it up so we've plated up our turkey pot pie put it in a nice bowl and it's steaming hot like I said you should really let it wait a little while but I just brung it right out and cut it, and this is what it looks like. So if you're hungry, you go ahead and dig in. Um, my husband's going to love this. It's actually one of his favorite meals. So it never seems to fail in or disappoint. I know I say that a lot, but it is absolutely delicious. You see how flaky the crust turns out, and it's just a really creamy... Delicious. You know, you can add a little cornstarch to a little bit of the, um, or milk to the, um, like do half and half if you want. You could do actually half milk and half of the chicken stock if you want. I always do it this way. It turns out perfect every time. But if you want more of a cream, like I said, these recipes, you can do whatever you want. They'll always turn out for you and they'll always be delicious. Hope you enjoyed. This is Renee. Happy cooking and baking.